So you're thinking about moving to Middleburg, Florida, but you're not really sure about the pros and cons, the good and the bad, the yin and the yang. What's going on with Middleburg, Florida? Well, today we're gonna to cover all of that. You're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end because we're getting after it right now. This is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing in the Jacksonville, Florida area, subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market conditions here in the Jacksonville, Florida area. My name's Jay Wyke. I'm a local real estate agent and I get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you that are looking for help relocating to this area or selling a home in this area and I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Jacksonville, Florida. So I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see behind me down this way I'm in the Jennings Forest here in Middleburg Florida it's a wildlife management area it's full of hiking trails uh, kayaking areas and um, I'm gonna cover some pros and cons with you today uh, you know every few uh, steps <laughs> I'm gonna stop and give you a pro and a con we're gonna have fun with this and we're gonna get started right now Okay, so here's the first pro, which is gonna be affordable cost of living. Middleburg, Florida is an attractive option for people that wanna live near the metropolitan area of Jacksonville, Florida and not break the bank. Uh, at the time of the taping of this, the median price for a home in Middleburg, Florida is $343,000. Conversely, just across the river in Northern St. Johns County, the average price for a home over there is $500,000. So that's a $150,000 spread uh, between median price points for a home. So definitely wanna consider Middleburg, Florida for affordability. Okay, the next pro is going to be access to natural beauty. Middleburg is very close to Black Creek Ravines Conservation Area and also the Jennings State Forest, which gives you tons of access to hiking, walking, um, kayaking, camping. If you want to do photography, of course, all of that is nearby and it's just an incredible value and it's free. These parks, they don't charge anything to get into them. It's just a wonderful resource to be near nature. And when you live in Middleburg, you will be close to nature. Next pro, Middleburg is a family-friendly community with great schools, safe neighborhoods, and a friendly atmosphere. Middleburg is a great place for families with children. So the next pro about Middleburg is gonna be its proximity, its closeness to Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, Middleburg is just a short drive to Jacksonville and also a very short drive to Orange Park. And that's gonna put you close to amenities like dining, shopping, entertainment, and of course in Jacksonville, professional sports. So definitely keep that in mind for Middleburg. And um, what do you think about that footbridge back there? You think it's safe to cross? Hmm? <laughs> okay, the next pro is gonna be access to the growing metropolitan area job market of Jacksonville, Florida. Middleburg being so close, of course you have Jacksonville as a commuting option. And uh, of course, you know, if you can work from home, of course, that's always a bonus. Uh, but you have both of the military bases, Naval Air Station Jacksonville and Naval Air Station Mayport. You have the healthcare industry, you have finance, you have insurance, you have technology, you have transportation and logistics. All of those incredible uh, resources for jobs here in the Jacksonville, Florida area. And you can definitely access those from living here in Middleburg. So it's great. Okay, so now we got to cover some cons. Had to, you know, go to the flip side of the coin. So here in Middleburg, you're going to have somewhat limited cultural and entertainment options. So, you know, if you want bright lights, big city, that's not going to be Middleburg. Um, if you want a lot of stuff going on after dark and after nine o'clock at night, that's not going to be Middleburg. But if you're okay with things, you know, kind of chilling out after dark, Middleburg's great. Uh, but if you want things to keep rolling and you want more, uh, you know, cultural enrichment, uh, head to Jacksonville. There's a lot of museums and art galleries up there. Um, if you want, you know, finer dining, you definitely have choices that are nearby. Of course, you got Gainesville, St. Augustine, Jacksonville, uh, St. Augustine Beach, all of the Jacksonville beaches. You have all of that access for you. And of course, you know, professional sports up in Jacksonville again. So, you know, check out all those areas, 
and uh, a lot of options there. Okay, so here's another con, which could be the weather for some folks. We're filming this in the very end of March, and it's 65 degrees today, 50% humidity. It's just heavenly outside, and I'm hiking through the forest. I have not had one bug try to bite me, and I didn't wear any insect repellent. So believe it or not, that's true. But I'd say about five months of the year, it's gonna be, you're gonna have some humidity, you know, in the upper upper 70s, 80s, 90s percent humidity. It does happen. Fall, winter, and spring here are fantastic. You know, you're never gonna have to worry about driving on ice or shoveling snow or any of that kind of stuff. You know, you just wear, uh, you know, there's maybe two weeks in total out of all of those months of, uh, you know, winter time where you're gonna wanna wear a heavier coat. But, uh, uh, you know, besides that, you just get by with just a, you know, a jacket, light jacket, hoodie, that kind of thing. In the hotter months, you definitely want to make sure your air conditioning gets checked out every year because if your AC goes down, it can take a while because there's a lot of people, of course, uh, you know, that might be also having some AC issues so it can get competitive with the repair people. I always recommend that you have a check on your AC every year in the spring so you can avoid the, some of those problems. Um, but yeah, you're going to want to run your AC. You're going to want to avoid, you know, like the hottest hours of the day. You know, check out the UV index, wear your sunscreen, you know, wear a hat, stay hydrated, and uh, try to keep as cool as possible. And you'll be fine with the weather here in Florida. Okay, so here's another con, which is going to be no public transportation. Middleburg does not really have public transportation to speak of. Uh, it's a suburb of Jacksonville. It's not a neighborhood of Jacksonville. Uh, it's not in the Jacksonville city limits. But, you know, that being said, you know, as long as you have your own transportation or you could hire a ride, you know, Uber, Lyft, that kind of thing, uh, you're going to be fine, you know, in Middleburg. No problem. Okay, so here's a big con. Let's talk about hurricanes. Uh, Florida is prone to getting hurricanes. Florida has water on three sides, to the east, to the south, and to the west, and two oceans. Uh, where do hurricanes come from? They come from the oceans, they come from the water. And to say that a hurricane would never pass over Middleburg, I could never tell you that. It's like me being able to tell you where lightning's gonna strike. I just can't forecast that. Um, I can tell you that when I lived in the beaches here in Jacksonville, I would have been very happy if they said evacuate the beaches to come to Middleburg. I think Middleburg is a great place to live. Uh, you're not going to necessarily be on a large body of water. Um, if you do live on a creek or close to the St. Johns River, is there a possibility that there could be a flood tide or higher tides or tidal surge as a result of a hurricane? Yes, yes, that could happen. Uh, high winds, that can happen too. Debris falling from trees, if you live in a, you know, an area with a lot of trees, that can happen. I would suggest you might want to consider if you want to live in a planned community or master development. Uh, in Florida, they, they have a lot of them now with underground utilities. Uh, a lot of these communities that have, that have underground utilities, uh, they don't lose power. Um, there are places in Jacksonville, for instance, that when they lose power, they lose it for a good bit of time, just because it just happens. Uh, do you want to be without power when it's really, really hot? Uh, no. Um, is there a chance that you could get a, you know, a backup generator, a diesel generator, buy a Ford Lightning pickup truck? Who knows? But yeah, the thing with hurricanes, you know, we got to talk about it. But do I think that Middleburg, Florida, is a risky place to live because of hurricanes? No, I don't. Okay, so here's the last con, which is going to be Middleburg has limited high-paying jobs that are local here. Uh, I'm talking about, you know, within the city limits of Middleburg. Uh, you might want to consider, you know, where you're going to commute to, be that Jacksonville, St. Augustine, uh, Gainesville, uh, possibly arrange a transfer within your own company, or, you know, if you have work from home, if that's an option for you, you know, consider all those options. And, of course, if you're retired and you want to come here, and you're already retired, that's great. Or if you want to come here and retire, that's great too. Uh, but definitely consider your job options, you know, with Middleburg, Florida. So I hope you enjoyed this pros and cons video of Middleburg, Florida and my trek through the Jennings State Forest. Uh, it was certainly fun bringing it to you and I got some exercise in the process, so that's always a bonus. 
And uh, if you live in the Middleburg area, feel free to comment or leave a remark below. Always welcoming those. And if you have any questions about the area and you want to reach out to me directly, my contact information is in the description below. You can give me a call, text, email. I'm going to answer it every time. It's always me. And remember, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Jacksonville, Florida. Until next time, check out the next video.